now we're going to set up our dynamic digital exhaust or DDE. As we did in the steam, this allows the prime mover to notch up or down and also intensify based on how hard the locomotive is working. Nothing's worse than losing control of your locomotive when you're doing your switching. So the DDE processor does the sounds for you. So let's start moving the locomotive at speed step one. Now to do this, we're going to set CV32 to a value of 2, and this is the 2 dot part of CV2.503. Then we program CV503 as we normally would in our cab. We enter a value of 255, and now the decoder has calibrated the minimum amount of energy that's needed to move this locomotive when it's light. So now we're going to speed the locomotive up to about speed step 20. And I'm going to hold it here since we have a short, limited amount of track. We're going to program. In this case, now we're going to program CV504. And we're going to set it to 255. And before I press the enter button, we're going to go ahead and let the locomotive go so that the decoder will let it run. Okay, now it's settled in. We hit the enter button. Now the decoder is programmed. So now we stop our locomotive. Now the last thing that has to be done is the calibration for sensitivity, and that's in CV2.512. This is a range from 0 to 255 like it was in the steam decoder, and gives you the amount of how sensitive the decoder is to changes in the load on the motor. We typically start it fairly low, so we're going to program this, and that's CV2.512. So we're going to program 512 since 32 is still set to 2. We're going to set we're going to start it somewhere around 35 and we're going to see how it does. So now when we move our locomotive you can kind of hear the processor kick in, but we'll hold it and you can hear the prime mover really notching in now that I've got some load against it. And then when I release it you hear the throttle back off. Now this is a better effect of course once you have a train behind you but to show the effect I put my hand in front of it. And you can play with the sensitivity to match your railroad and your locomotives so that they'll work together well.